Hello guys, I'm back. In this video, I will teach you how to use the molecular structure of a component on Aspen Plus. My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. To start with, let me teach you that there are four main ways of adding components to the Aspen Plus. The first one is the standard one where we use the specification to add pure components to the component list. Another option is doing the characterization of oil to add to your component list and we can use also the pseudo components on Aspen Plus. And finally, we have the possibility, the options to define the molecular structure of a component to add to your component list on Aspen Plus. I teach all these ways of adding components on my Aspen Plus Booster training available in the description of this video. But today I will share with you, I will teach you how is the step by step of adding a component based on its molecular structure. That said, to add a component based on its molecular structure, first you need to identify the component on the selection tab available in the specification. So I will write an identification here, click on enter, and with that, I will have the Aspen, Aspen Plus define it as conventional. So once I have the at least one component here in the select components, I go to molecular structure folder and I will highlight what is the component ID that I want to specify the molecular structure. I will highlight that and click on edit input. It will lead me to another submenu where I have the general tab, structure and functional group tab, I have formula tab and I have commands. You will verify that up to this point I don't have any information available. So what I will do? I will click on draw, import or edit to open a submenu where I can build the drawing of my molecular structure. I have standards, formation here, standard forms to add to my process simulation or to my molecular editor. So I can click in the option here, it will be highlighted and I can bring the benzene to my molecular editor. Each time that I click on this, this screen, I will add another structure to my drawing until I click on ask in my keyboard. When I click on ask, I will, I will close the adding option and now as the bounds and charts are available or are selected, uh, each time that I click in my screen, now I will add the CH4 to my drawing. So to do the selection of any one of this drawing, I need to change the option single bounds or bounds and charts to select. So when I click on the arrow, now I change the way that I, I'm dealing with the drawing and I now I can, for instance, do the selection doing a window, for instance. So when I do a, a window, everything will be selected and if I click on delete, for instance, I am able to delete the components or the drawings that is in my paper, my virtual paper. Besides the standard fragments that I have here available to me, I can add uh, also out, out atoms. So I have this one available on my screen and if I click on more, the periodic table is open and I can choose any one of these symbols or these elements to be added to my drawing or to my molecular editor. So to verify how to do the addition or how to add a component based on the molecular structure, let's just consider two benzenes in, in conjunction here. So I finish my drawing, I click on ask and now I can close this window and you will verify that when I click on calculate bounds, now my tab formula is checked on blue, my tab general is checked on blue also. When I click on formula, now I have the formula of the 
drawing where in this case I have carbon, 10 carbons and 8 hydrogen. If I go to general tab, besides the number of elements, I have also what is the kind of bond that they form. So it's double, double bound, single bound and etc. So now that I already, I already have done the drawing and do and done the calculate bounds. What I need to do is click on estimation because based on that, the aspen plus will do the estimation of the missing properties from the molecular structure. So I will click on that. It will lead me to the tab setup where I have three options to do the calculations. And as we don't have any information related to our molecular structure. I will keep the standard selection as estimate all missing parameters. So with this, I will just click on run. Results available, we can verify that there, there wasn't any kind of warnings related to the ASPEN Plus. So at the first sight, it, everything seems to be OK. And to verify what is the characteristics of these new components that I added based on the molecular structure, I just can go to the retrieve parameters. So when I click on that, the Aspen Plus will bring all the characteristics of these components for verification. I can copy this for my inputs, but I will not do that. I will just click on OK. Aspen Plus will return to me with another window. View parameter results now. Yes, I want to see. And here I can verify the main characteristics of my component based on the molecular structure. For instance, the molecular weights, the critical pressure, and so on. So with this, you can start your process simulation adding the components based on the molecular structure. If you want to, you can add more components to your component list based on the molecular structure or add a pre-component or define a pseudo-component and complete your component list before you select the proper package and go to the simulation environment. Now, you may ask me, I can add any kind of structure and the Aspen Plus will give me a result. I cannot guarantee that to you. But now that you know how is the procedure to do that, you can verify it by its own. If you want to learn more about chemical process engineering and plant design, list to me three topics or subjects that you would like to see in the next video.